how to get that second hand on, right? And what that looks like. Every now and then, we're battling for this inside-outside position, but sometimes we mutually agree. I like inside, you like outside, right? And there's no real purpose of trying to fight for, right? I'm not going to go out here, right? Why would I? I like inside, right? Kevin likes inside, then he's going to stay here, right? That's just how it is. Yes, we can battle for this, right? Battle here, battle there, down there, down there. Kevin push it down, right? Maybe sometimes he closes this, this space here, right? And his weight on this arm, I don't really like it, right? Which means I have to sort of release this, right? I can circle his leg, open, right? Keep this hand high. If he tries to circle underneath, nope, this hand goes underneath. Look, I deny it, right? He goes back around, right? We did a little bit of this, right? And sometimes he's causing me a lot of trouble here, so I may take this hand, turn the hand over and release it, okay? Not with the purpose of him going underneath and giving him the underneath, but as a purpose to release this downward pressure. So now as he's looking to regain the sleeve up top high, right? I'm attacking the far side, okay? So what does this look like? Once I have a good frame, I want to go to the sleeve and I want to pull and turn his shoulders. Ideally, if you can, right? Go to this outside sleeve this way, collect, right? Notice I'm collecting, and then I bring this hand over. That's going to be ideal. If I could grip the sleeve and he cannot regrip, okay? So now, in order for him to regrip here, because I have this hand down, like I'm controlling it downward, right? Can he go down underneath, right? Might be difficult because I'm pinning it, right? He has to go up and then over against his thumb, against his finger. Okay? In this case, as he goes up, up and then around this way, look, this is my timing to pull my opponent forward and then I enter into my attacks here. Okay? Maybe he resists backwards where I might go Koji. Right? That's an option. Right? But that is the goal. So you want to definitely practice gaining advantage here, coming to the outside. Okay, notice how I'm grabbing this wrist and then controlling this arm. Okay? If I could completely control it, it is okay if this hand is past the middle line. But if he re-grabs my sleeve, I definitely want this hand past the center line towards me, okay? Now, I have an advantage, a big advantage at that. All right, look at the position of Kevin. Not so good, right? Big turn throw, okay? Ouchi kouchi, leg pick. Okay, all those different options are gonna be there for me, right? So, gaining the sleeve, is going to be very, very important. How do we gain an advantage even before we get the sleeve though? Right? That's a good one. So Kevin is pushing down. I bring this hand up, okay? So notice I brought this hand up. You'll see this a lot in the international circuit. Sometimes we're locked in here, right? Inside, outside, and we're okay. Not, no real advantages there, but I'm bringing this hand up and bringing the sleeve down. So once I bring this elbow back down to my lat, Look how short this material is. This gi is short to begin with, right? But if I have a shorter sleeve than Kevin, right, it's gonna be easier for me to grab the sleeve, and it's gonna be very far for him to grab the little sleeve there, right? So this is the thing that you do see this commonly, right? A lot of the times you see this from the top side. Reason being, if I could put downward pressure here, I could adjust this gi, right? Which pulls this entire gi downward, okay? Down this way, upward this way, downward this way and then it makes the sleeve even shorter, okay? So you do see the outside player constantly doing this, right? And this is totally a legal thing that people do here, okay? And then instead of crossing this sleeve line, I see a lot of international guys coming head to head here and then going over the collar here, okay? That way, do you see my hand coming through? No, and I'm still pretty safe here, right? Because of the barrier that I'm creating, the weight that I'm having, Right? Not too many attacks come from there, right? So, I can go over and try to fight fish with that sleeve, right? But I don't have really long arms. So I can definitely reach here for that collar. And once I get this far side collar, I can start turning the shoulders here, right? But he's gonna look to grab the sleeve. If he grabs the sleeve and pins that arm tight to his body, now it's gonna be very difficult for me to return this arm, okay? So I have to do this with caution. Right versus left, right? He's not giving me the sleeve. 
I go hand on the lapel, and as he's going to grab the sleeve lock, I go around and pin the sleeve. Okay, now I have this grip. Now I can try to gain this sleeve. And now look, I can create an angle, right? Across, backside, Hayashi, Tomonage, all these different options will open up for me. Okay? And notice how I'm trying to keep this so that he's gonna have a very hard time re-grabbing my sleeve, trying to re-grab my sleeve. Right? Re grab. Right? And this is a good way to do it. If he comes around, look, I pull, right? There's no more slack. So now when he tries to grab that sleeve, it's gonna be very difficult, right? And then I can pin this arm down, right? Adjusting, cross body or Okay, we're gonna get into all the techniques in a little bit, right? So now we have sort of how to gain this sleeve, right? In the right side versus left side position from inside position, right? Did that cover everything? Yep. Yeah? Okay, let's 